Hello everybody, I hope you enjoyed that little intro video, Zafool again. I am now going to show you how I did it with the note blocks. So this here is a quick layout of the note blocks and the repeaters. I use Melody Miner's tutorial for the Zelda Open Treasure Chest song. I'll leave a link in the description. So what I've done is I've used pressure plates to power a redstone signal that starts the song up, as I would now show you. So as you see, it goes down, playing all the note blocks, continuously getting faster, as the song does. And then when it gets to the end, it actually stops. Now, in Melody Miner's video, there are repeaters which continue the song on to the next part. But what I've done is, I've made it so that the song doesn't continue unless you open this chest here, which is a redstone tra uh, trap chest. So when you open it, it sends a signal and plays the last part. So what this chest does is it powers this dispenser right here, which then dispenses cobblestone onto a wooden pressure plate, which then sends a signal and plays the final part of the song. But it also sends a signal to this piston right here to cut off the signal uh, so you can't continuously play the song. Because when the song is played once in The Legend of Zelda, it's only played once for that specific chest. So in this way, it, it's only played at the time when you actually go to open the chest. However, this can be, it, it can be played again once the cobblestone block here despawns. It then cuts off the signal, and you can then step on the pressure plate to start the song again. Now, what I've done that's different from Melody Miner's video is I've actually, for the ending part here, I have increased the sound by putting a second, uh, well, technically third, note block. Now, the, these note blocks on the end here have the same number of clicks as these ones on the most inner side of the final part. So to give you a better idea of how the note blocks are laid out and the number of delays between each repeaters, oops, this is a general idea of how I did it. So these are the three note blocks in the beginning at the top where it starts and the number of clicks you need to play the songs. So it's one click, then three, three, and so on and so forth. And in between each of these note blocks are repeaters, each on three ticks of delay. And then this is the first row, ends at the note block with seven clicks, then continues on to the eight clicks, and continues down, also with three ticks of delay. You can just pause the video whenever I'm on this page to get an idea of it, so you can do it yourself. Continues on again, this time with two ticks of delay between each of the note blocks. Two ticks again. This time it's just the repeater down, don't have to click on it or anything. Same with this. And then the final part, two ticks of delay on each of them. Also, to get the different sounds, it's mostly using dirt and wooden planks. Whenever there's three note blocks that are together, it's usually wooden planks under it. And then for this final part here, this first middle note block is on a wooden plank and then the rest of it's on dirt so yeah that's uh it's really easy i hope you guys enjoyed the video like and favorite if you want and i'll catch you crazy kids next time bye mm -hmm.